Hello friends, this video on air around us part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the next component of air that is water vapor. So water vapor is also present in air and again the lady is quite surprised that water vapor is also there in air. Yes, it is. So even though it is present in very small amounts, but yes, it is present. So let us look at a few examples which clearly state that water vapor is present in air. So one of the examples are when you cook something in a vessel. So the vessel is very hot, the food is very hot and then suddenly you cover it with a bleed which is very cold. What happens? You immediately see droplets of water on the inner surface of the lead. So from where do you get this water droplets of water? This is from the water vapor which is present in the surrounding air. So those water vapor, they condense or they cool down to form liquid water droplets. Similarly, if you take out a chilled glass of water from the refrigerator and keep it on the table at room temperature, what happens? Again, you see tiny droplets of water on the outer surface of the glass. These kind of droplets are seen on the outer surface of the glass. And these droplets are also because the water vapor. So it is due to the water vapor of surrounding air. So water vapor of surrounding air cool down to form water droplets and that is why we see these droplets of water on the outer surface of the glass. Now the last component of air that is dust and smoke which is really undesirable but it is again a component of air so we really can't ignore it. So. So you must have experienced dust when you sweep the room. So even inside our house, which is like kind of covered in all aspects, even there also, uh, if you leave it unbroomed for a day, you will see a lot of dust on the floor. You can see a lot of dust on things around you. When you talk about smoke, the smoke which comes out of the chimneys of factories and industries, you see black smoke coming out of it. So what are they? They are nothing but smoke, dust. And where are they going? They are going nowhere but the air. So what, where do you think this uh, black dust, black smoke coming out of the chimney would go? It will go to the air, of course. Similarly, these kind of smokes from, which are emitted from different types of industry and factory, plus the dust which comes out of the streets, houses, everywhere. So they all end up going to the air and therefore air has dust and smoke. Now, air has dust particles. Now, sometimes it, it gets very hard to believe uh, when you feel that I never noticed a particle of dust in the air. Air seems to be quite clean to me. Okay, so if you have never noticed it, so no, you notice now. So what you try to do is just try to observe a beam of light, a beam of sunlight entering a dark room. So you can try it out at your home. So make a room dark, close all the windows and everything. Now just try to find out any hole anywhere in that room and through that hole you observe sunlight coming inside the room. So this is how it would look like. This is how, I mean it would be like a beam of light. And now very clearly you can see tiny particles dancing in the beam of sunlight like this. So here you see these tiny particles. So what are these tiny particles? So there are no particles in light. So what are these particles? So these particles are nothing but the dust particles. So the dust particles which, which are sitting just like that on various objects. You now with the beam of sunlight they are like they are so light and uh, yeah, they don't have any weight or density that they keep flying here and there. So they are like dancing with a beam of sunlight and there you can very evidently see them. So that's a very clear proof of the presence of dust particles in the air. So please try it out right now at your home. So this will help you to get a better understanding. So that proves that air has dust particles. Now the 
presence of dust particles can vary with place and time. Now, it is not necessary that everywhere you will have same amount of dust in the air. So, in places where, uh, let's say, you you burned a lot of stuff. So, wherever a burning burning has happened, a lot of smoke would have been produced. A lot of dust would have been produced. So, of course, the more dust particles will be present in that area. Similarly, it also varies with time. So you have burned something today. So the amount of dust particle that will be present today will definitely be more than what it will be present after five days. Right. So it depends that how much dust particles are present in the air will depend upon the place. It will also depend upon the time. So it keep varying from place to place and from time to time. But one thing is for sure that air has dust particles. So dust particle is present everywhere. Maybe somewhere it is less and somewhere it is more. Now, next time when you visit a place like this, uh, maybe a forested area or a place full of tall trees. So just try to observe the rays coming between the tree leaves. So wherever open spaces are there, through those open spaces, observe the uh, rays, sun rays coming from between the tree leaves and you can see the dancing dust particles there as well. So these are something which with certain things around you where you can observe and you can learn a lot of things. So they are also you can evidently see the dust particles that are present in the air. Now have you ever observed if you leave any object uncleaned, you did not clean, let's talk about this keyboard. So we did not clean this keyboard for maybe a couple of days. And at the end of it, what do you see? You see a layer of dust over it. So you can very clearly see the particles of dust, right? So what do you do to clean it? So we mop it with a piece of cloth and then all the dust particles go away. So this proves that there are dust particles in the air and they settle down on various objects when you do not dust them regularly that's the reason we need to sweep our uh, we need to broom and sweep our house almost every day that's because even within a day especially in the urban areas where there is so much of pollution so much of vehicles so much of dust and smoke the house gets dirty all the more because of this the dust particles so this gives you an idea about air contains dust particles thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.